Here's the last section of how to export Flash Flipbooks from Adobe InDesign. What we have here is my finished book and it's certainly functional. It looks good. I could put it on the web as it is except that I have this gray background that I'd like to do something about and also I don't think this is a very good reading size. Now I can set the export size in InDesign when I do my flash export but I don't know what size monitor my viewer is going to have and so I run the risk of making the book too big so that people can't grab the corners and flip the pages or in this case too small to comfortably read. What I'm looking for is an experience a little bit more like this where the book automatically scales to 125 percent and I've got a slider here where I can control that. Another thing that I've added to this script is as I get to the table of contents you can see that I've masked out certain areas of it and I've deleted the hyperlinks that were there um, I've covered them up actually this for example is a link that just links back to the table of contents so right now I can link to the first chapter and you can read the first chapter and here I've added a ghosted box over the second chapter and if I turn the page it bumps right back. I can read the about the author page, I can go to the colophon page which tells about the typography and things like that for all of you design geeks out there. I can go to the back but when I get to that colophon again if I go to the previous page boom it takes me back to the table of contents. So. I've got the option here to display the entire book or just certain pages. Um, when I release this a chapter at a time, I'll go into my master InDesign file and scale this to reveal the links underneath. And week by week, I'll add this and I'm just, uh, I'll add chapters one week at a time. And then I'm going to make some simple modifications in the code. So let's take a look at, see if we can get in here. Here's my folder, and I've downloaded Bookscaler um, from essentialabsurdities.com slash bookscaler.zip, and I'll show you that address. I'm going to open it up here, throw away the zip file. I'm going to take these elements out and put them where my InDesign file is so I can get rid of this folder. I'm just simplifying things here. Now I can get rid of the HTML from InDesign. I'm going to dump that to keep things simple. I have an index page that came with the book scaler. SWF object which is a JavaScript that's going to load the flash into the HTML and we won't, have to, we won't ever have to touch this file. We just want to include it in our upload. And here's the book scaler.fla. I'm going to change this file that I exported from InDesign to just currentsflipbook.swf. It says it's already taken because I'd done it earlier. Let's do currents flipbook SWF. And I won't need this currents SWF. That's from my earlier experiments. The images file, these are just the images that went into my InDesign file. Here's my book scaler file. I'm going to open it up in Flash, which will take a moment. And I've designed this to be very, very easy to use and modify. Here's the link, essentialabsurdities.com slash bookscaler.zip. And what you're going to find on here, let me move my properties panel. I'm in Flash now, is I have a UI loader called Flipbook. It's just a movie clip and it has a drop shadow on it. So for example, if I wanted to take that drop shadow off, I could click on the drop shadow and hit the little trash can and dump it. In this case, I'm going to leave it. At the bottom is a little scale slider. Make yours look different from mine, if only out of courtesy. I have a BG layer, which is just a, a copy of the background, but it's made transparent. That's going to be a handle for dragging this around. It's covering up some of the other layers. If you wanted this ball, for example, to be different, 
we could go to the color palette and let's make this um, blue to match come back out you can modify colors textures whatever you want as long as this remains slider and this remains slot and all of the instance names of the clips inside remain the same you can modify this to your heart's content so I have these elements and on this first frame I have my my actions now if you don't understand action script the good news here is you won't have to I've already set the source of the user interface the UI loader that square to be current flipbook.swf enter the file name of the flipbook you wish to load so that's going to go here now I've got some options if I wanted to limit the page range what I could be doing is literally counting spreads in my InDesign file. So this is spread one, spread two, spread three, spread four. And I can limit things. For some reason, this counts as spread two, three, four. So you have to subtract one. That's an idiosyncrasy of InDesign that I have no control over. But for example, I have my limit page range is set to false right now so it'll show the whole book if I set that to true and I could set the spread numbers out of InDesign and um, when you're into an illegal spread for example spread 8 is my table of contents in this case I'm gonna set this to false and I should be ready to go I'm gonna test my movie I'm gonna open this up and I can drag the scaler, I can move this, and now I've got scaling and I can go anywhere in the book I want. Let's come back and get rid of essentialabsurdities.com slash bookscaler.zip. Let's test this one more time and we should be ready to go. Move the scaler, drag it, and I've got my instructions here for viewers. So in a nutshell, that's all you need to do in Flash is set a few variables. They're all here. Take the shadow on or off as you like. One thing you may want to look at is publish settings in Flash. I set this to be the name of my book. Otherwise, it'll export as BookScaler. That's fine. And I turned off HTML because I don't want to publish HTML. So let's close this up I close flash and I've got one more step here and that one more step is to modify this index file if you've got Dreamweaver that's fine you can use any text editor it's just an HTML file I'm gonna go ahead and open up Dreamweaver and make a few changes and sorry for the delay here we go so what's happening is my scale loader will load the my, my scaling flash file will load the flipbook this is the page that loads the scaling flash file and all I'm gonna do here you can see I've got my keywords which you're gonna to want to change because they refer to my book I've got my description which is a description of the book uh, this happens to be for currents so I'm gonna change that I'm gonna make my text a little bit bigger so that you can see it in this demo let me go to 12 point for my type I really don't have to change much I've got a bunch of line breaks which I can remove here too but I'll get to that this part here at the bottom I just want to change this to the name of the flash file that I exported from the book scaler if you didn't change it this would be book scaler.swf the name of the book is currents and right now I've got this kind of reddish background I'm gonna change this to uh, 
blue background, a fairly dark blue. Let's go a little lighter. And these other elements here, we don't really need to change. This whole area here is the where it is the non-flash content for people who don't have flash. So what I have here, for example, is a link. I'm going to go ahead and take it out. But um, you can put an image here as an alternate image. And what this does is takes you to the download link for people who don't have flash. Um, that should be it for this. I'm going to test this in the browser. I'm going to go ahead and scale this to fit your screen. There it is, my blue background, my book scales. If I want it even bigger, I can just drag this completely off. Whatever fits your monitor. Now this should make for comfortable reading. And it's all done. My internal links work. This should take me to the to the illustration page, going back to the table of contents, and I should be able to jump into any part of the book I want. And that's pretty much it for exporting Flash Flip books from Adobe InDesign. If you find this tutorial useful, um, I would really appreciate it if you would join my mailing list and read my work at EssentialAbsurdities.com and uh, if you really find it useful and wanted to thank me by buying a book I would appreciate that very much too. Thanks so much. Enjoy.